Brian Moore saying welcome to Main Road and you may well have guessed that this of course is a match that has torn the city of Manchester apart. City against United now playing for a place in the Football League Cup final at Wembley in March. This of course is a first leg game, the second one comes at Old Trafford in a fortnight's time. Two of the most exciting teams in the first division. Manchester City for their part can of course parade the wonderful skills of Colin Bell who in the last round of this competition scored this fine goal against Queen's Park Rangers. Doyle coming forward. City so full of confidence at the moment, as you would expect, Bell, going right through Bell, number two, Colin Bell. And United, of course, well, they can counter with so much, among other things, the firepower of Bobby Charlton. Just look at this goal that he scored against Spurs in the first division. Charlton. What a goal that was. Well, that may be just a hint of what we can expect at Main Road tonight. Let's now have a closer look at the two teams. Well, City field their strongest side for this most important match with Corrigan in goal, Book and Pardo, Doyle, Booth, Oakes, and an attack that reads Summerby, Bell, Lee, Young and Boya. And, of course, it's particularly good to see young Joe Corrigan, who's missed the last two games with a groin injury, back in City's goal. The United side stands ninth in the first division table, two points behind uh, City, with Alex Stepney in goal, Young Edwards at two, Dunn, Burns, Ewer and Sadler, and their attack which reads Best, Kidd, Charlton at number 10, Nobby Styles, though he of course will be obviously at the back, and Aston at number 11, particularly good, of course, to see Nobby Styles back in action again and back in World Cup reckoning after that long and troublesome cartilage injury, a man who obviously is going to bring great, great experience to United's defence. So there we are then. We're almost ready to go. It's an all-ticket crowd here at Main Road, and the referee tonight is Mr Jack Taylor of Wolverhampton. And it's Manchester City there, the back of the goal to our right, who get us away, wearing the lighter shirts, in fact, the famous sky blue shirts, Manchester United in their familiar red. Pardo, just keeping it in, and finding Booth, and Pardo needing to get in very quickly to stop best. Now Lee, slipping your young Edwards in chase, and finally Sadler giving away the corner. United obviously bent on a night of containing this tremendous Manchester City side, that 4-0 defeat that uh, United had here in the league just a fortnight ago obviously still strong in their minds they'll be hoping clearly to do their more positive work in the second leg in a fortnight's time at Old Trafford here's the corner and my goodness that was a bit lax allowing that ball almost to get through the bell but it's Stepney in possession now for Manchester United Brian Kidd to flick it on Tommy Booth to find Neil Young and there goes Doyle a tremendous run by Doyle, finding Summerby lurking on the right. And Young again, but he only half hit that one. Neil Young. And obviously there have been an infringement, probably Colin Bell slipping into an offside position, so it's a free kick with Alex Stepney. Kid to find Nobby Styles. Well, something that the uh, officials didn't like about that throw. Number eleven is John Aston. Doyle waiting to have another go. And Tony Dunn to poke it into touch. Every suggestion that the pitch will cut up a fair bit. There's been a lot of rain in Manchester over the last couple of days. Here's Alan Oakes. Doyle to his skipper Tony Book. Calm play here by Manchester City, finding their men quite easily, and then Booth, and finally through to Stepney. 
Now a long one for Kidd to chase. Into the path of Bobby Charlton. And now John Aston for United. And a good combination of defence there between Doyle and Book. Tony Dunn with the throw. Now Aston. And Book again in very quickly for City. Leaving it for Francis Burns. Aston again. Tricking his man very neatly but not getting it through. And there's a shot from Lovey Styles well forward. His right knee you'll notice still pretty heavily bandaged. But how marvellous to see him back in action again. Not a good kick by Corrigan. Straight to Bobby Charlton. Bobby Charlton again. A little flick there for Kidd. Oh, and Kidd missed a great chance there. Almost falling over himself as Corrigan did almost. That badly needed a shot a good deal quicker than that. And United would have been a priceless goal ahead with something like only four minutes gone. Made for him, of course, by Bobby Charlton, pouncing on that bad clearance by Corrigan. Here's Kidd again. And Book giving away the corner. And after that last little scare, I would think that Tony Book would quite happily settle for that corner. Yor has gone right up into that Manchester City penalty area. Charlton Best kid and Francis Burns also well up for it. Best going in and Corrigan taking it well off his head. Now Styles back in a more familiar role at the back. An unfamiliar Styles pass there. Summerby and Styles surely tugging at him. And the referee in fact has stopped them. Clearly Summerby was outstripping Lobby Styles there. And you can see by some of his shirt just what Styles was doing to him. And so a free kick then to Manchester City. And this time it's the turn of their number five, Tommy Booth, to come forward. Bell making a dash towards the near post. Here comes the free kick. Booth going in for it. Stepney losing it. Lee. And finally, Kidd bringing it away. But not very far. And a goal kick. Bad moment for Alex Stepney to have lost that high ball there with Bell and Lee and Young all very close at hand. Edwards. And now Booth. Bell. Getting caught up with the referee, Bobby Charlton. And Bell really streaking after Charlton. Sadler and Book to Corrigan Pardo for Manchester City Neil Young Pardo Lee watch very closely by Yur trying to come away from Yur Lee again and Yur getting in and Lee getting it through to Doyle. And now to Bell. Lee gone storming on. Some of it. A little floater there. Bowyer going in. And Edwards getting in very well, young Edwards, for Manchester United. Well, there's no signs, I must say, of United playing a sterile sort of defensive game to do their better work at home. Now coming forward with Sadler now. These really are very bold tactics by Manchester United. They really are carrying the fight to City, but it's City now with Oakes. Young. And Oakes again. Bell has gone on ahead. Here's Bell. Bowyer in the middle, looking for a little one. Bowyer! And almost there, put behind by Dunn. With the United defence all over the place in that penalty area. It wanted the mildest touch from Bowyer. A very clever run indeed by Colin Bell.
That really was a good run by Bell. Book getting in before Aston. And Book getting in before Aston again. Summerby. The tackling has got to be sharp tonight, as it was indeed there by Tony Dunn on Summerby. Tony Dunn, who's had nine good seasons at Old Trafford, on the far side, Nobby Styles, number ten. Ten minutes gone, no goals, but certainly no lack of excitement so far. And our kick given United's way. To be taken by Sadler. And every United man coming forward. Styles challenging Bell and forcing Bell into an error. Kidd going past, pulled down on the very edge of the area. Right on the edge. Absolutely no margin for error there. Another yard further forward, and that most certainly would have been a penalty. As it is, it could be fairly dangerous for Manchester City. Ian Ewell has again gone up into the Manchester City penalty area. Bobby Charlton to take it. Little flick by Charlton. And Kidd just unable to get his head to it. Pardo finding Young. Styles cutting it out. Charlton putting it straight back for Manchester City. Lee. Charlton doing his best to repair that damage now. But Lee is a persistent little customer. So it's Oaks. A long one to look for some of you. Taking on Dunn and Aston as well. And another slack piece of play by United. Oaks, the belt one, straight at Stepney. Kidd getting in before Doyle, now Best, we've seen precious little of Best, but there's a good ball to get Charlton going. Turning it in again, and Pardo away. Oh yeah. And a free kick given against Edwards for a little tap from behind by Edwards on Bowyer. Here's Bowyer, chased again by Edwards. Oaks. Looking for Summerby who's coming to the middle. Lee, pouncing on it. The red shirts are bobbing around there. Bell! A goal! Colin Bell! 13 minutes! Persistence of Francis Lee that had that United defence going. A loose ball, and when a loose ball falls at the feet of Bell, that's it. Colin Bell by far and away United's, or rather City's, top scorer now with 18. And now it'll be interesting to see how United play it. Will they still come forward? It's the game they know best of all. Edwards pumping one on. And now Young. Oaks making a great run down the left. Getting it across. And Bell with his head. The linesman's flag is up. And in this tremendous din, you can scarcely hear the referee's whistle. And now coming loose to best. Taking two men to dispossess him. There we are. And a foul given against. 
Francis Burns on Boia. Burns it was. He's having a good run for United at number four now. Oaks. Cut out by Styles. And still he goes forward, Styles. Trying to get that into the path of Best. But Best won't find much room here. Aston rather fortunately finding Dunn. Book to cut it out. And now Doyle playing it safe to Corrigan. Brian Kidd. Styles. And now to Dunn. And Book playing it into touch. Brian Kidd. And now Charlton trying to turn it back. And best if only he'd been a few inches taller might have got to that one. But now it's Sadler to pump it back again. Kidd going in. And Aston not quite able to get to it. A lot of extra police here tonight because, of course, this is a tremendous crowd of something like over 60,000 now beginning to take up their positions along the touchline as we come towards the end of the first half with City still leading by this one goal scored by Bell who's on the ball at the moment. Still Colin Bell driving it in. And a corner. Summerby to take it. Booth has made a late run into the penalty area. Here comes Summerby. Bowyer going for it. It hits Booth and comes through to Charlton. Your and United really prepared to adventure. They really are still taking this fight to Manchester City, although they're this goal down. You're coming forward and now Charlton but losing out. And now perhaps this is a springboard now for Manchester City as Lee takes it away. Styles desperately coming. Great shot and a great save. A really magnificent, aggressive run by Francis Lee. A fine shot before Styles could close in. And a magnificent save down by the post by Stepney. Manchester City is fourth corner now of this first half, rapidly drawing to a close. Coming through the bell, trying an overhead. Kid to Charlton. And over on the left, it's Aston. Book stopping him, and so it's Bell. Colin Bell again to Tony Book. And Manchester United funneling back. Nobody challenging Book, so he's coming forward. But there are eight United defenders back now. Summerby to turn it in. Bowyer getting ahead to it. And Stepney taking it on his chest, but losing it. And then grabbing it again. But in fact, somebody's foot must have been high there as Stepney went for it, perhaps kicking it out of his hands and unfairly charging him. So it's a free kick nonetheless to Manchester United. Best. Taking Pardo on the outside. A little clip back there. And it just... It's just passed, I thought for a moment. And I think so did a few thousand other people here thought that Aston had put it in, but in fact it was just past that post. And certainly the City supporters in this 
tremendous crowd can breathe again. It fooled me and it must have fooled a lot of them as well, but it's still 1-0 then to Manchester City. So it's Bobby Charlton. And a poor one from Burns, giving Best no chance at all. And the whistle goes for the end of a tremendous first half full of really exciting attacking football, a credit to both these great clubs. But at half-time, it's Manchester City going into the dressing rooms with a 1-0 half-time lead, the goal scored by Colin Bell after 13 minutes. So the half-time score at Main Road, Manchester City 1, Manchester United 0. Join us again for more soccer in just a couple of minutes. So with the band having departed from half-time, with Mike Summerby having conducted the last few bars himself, it's uh, United who get us away, this goal down at the start of the second half. Manchester City now defending the goal to our left. And a free kick given to Manchester City. To be taken by Alan Oakes. Bell to jump for it and Sadler to jump higher than anybody. Book to follow it in! Just past! Oh, a tremendous half volley by Tony Book. He hasn't scored this season for City, but my goodness, he wasn't so far away then. And Stepney very relieved as he went dancing across that goal with the goal kick for Manchester United. Styles. And now George Best. Styles has gone plunging into that penalty area. They weren't doing much good because it's Manchester City coming away now through Neil Young. Styles coming back as hard as he can. Oakes going up outside. Alan Oakes. And that's bobbled a bit as he took it. So Lee is all right again. Bell and Young standing over that ball. Mr. Jackson, Mr. Taylor wants to be sure that the wall is 10 yards back. It's Young to fire one against the wall. And now Kidd to bring it away to young Paul Edwards. Only his third first team game. Your Edwards to Kidd. And Edwards has gone on down that right. Kidd looking for best, and Corrigan getting it. Summerby, and Bell has gone belting down the right, and so has Styles. Styles has lost none of his ability to pick up a man and to shadow him and to stay tight all the while as he did with Bell then. Your and your again. Styles in again. His job in this second half obviously has been to take very close attention of Colin Bell. Charlton and the linesman's flag is up on the far side. Tommy Booth. Your. Oh, and charged into Aston. It's Tony Book. And 
characteristic of Tony Book, I must say, but it's a free kick to Manchester United and Styles with it. Aston Charlton off the referee to Doyle and out of Corrigan. Glyn Pardo to look for Boyer being pushed a little bit there by Edwards. The ball running through to Lee, but the referee had blown for that push by Edwards on Boyer. The ball kicked away by George Best, and now is Best going to have his name taken? Ungentlemanly conduct, the book is out. And Best's name has gone into that book. Kicking that ball away when it was being placed for a free kick. Now Book. Summerby and Astley. Twenty minutes of the second half gone, still Manchester City leading by this one goal to nil, scored after 13 minutes by Colin Bell. And they really by now would be desperate for a second one because a one goal lead is very precarious indeed to take to Old Trafford for that second leg. Tony Book. Bell, notice how closely Styles is shadowing him now, pulling him down in fact. But when you're marked by Nobby Styles, you really are marked. Bell had so much freedom in that first half, but obviously at half-time they decided that Nobby had got to stick to him, and that's precisely what he's been doing. Some of you with the kick. A little floater, and Stepney taking it. Best. Nice little pass there to a kid. Best going on, Charlton coming up as well. And on the far side, it's Aston. Straight into the path of Charlton! That's the equaliser from Bobby Charlton! <laughs> 21 minutes of the second half gone. Bobby Charlton makes it 1 1. does put a great deal of pressure on Manchester City now because they've really got to go out searching for goals to take a lead with them to that second leg and at the same time they've got to remain so secure now at the back because a second goal for United really would be a disaster for them Summerby Summerby again a little flick to that far side Boyer going in Beautifully floated cross by Summerby, a corner then to Manchester City, Neil Young to take it. Booth is making a move towards the box. Doyle is already there. And Edwards has just flopped to the deck by the near post. Pardo, who's had quite a job with Tony Book from time to time looking after George Best. Jack Crompton seems to have done his stuff. Paul Edwards limping just a little bit. 
is OK again. It's a corner then to Manchester City. And not a very good one at that. Oaks hustled by Kidd but finding Book. And now Summerby. Taken there by Aston. But no foul, says the linesman who is pointing there. I thought for a goal kick, but maybe it's a free kick. It is a free kick. It was a foul. Summerby to take it quickly. Tony Book. And taken too quickly for the liking of uh, referee Taylor. Up go the heads, and it's finally Stepney. Unfairly challenged by Francis Lee. And Stephanie with the kick. And there really isn't quite that same drive from Manchester City from deep positions that we saw in the first half. And if anything, United looking the more likely side. Sadler's long kick there, Booth cutting it out, Book following it out, and the throw given to Manchester City. Charlton finding Sadler. Aston off his body to Styles. Kidd, best. And Kidd is penalised, presumably for offside. But he's taken a fair bit of stick there at the back and done well for United tonight, Brian Kidd. Bobby Charlton, Kidd, right up there. As a lone front runner once more, this time shadowed by Tommy Booth. Young with Oakes to help him. Oakes with Bell alongside him. And Summerby on the right. Still Oakes. Being hustled out of the way though by some United defence in depth, but it's Summerby. Summerby again, they're not giving away very much at the back now Manchester United after looking very hesitant so early in the game and Stepney gathering that one Doyle to Pardo Pardo again and now Doyle Book rather wildly going for that one, losing it to Aston. Tommy Booth pulled down by Kidd. So a free kick to Manchester City with just about a quarter of an hour now to go. Bell kicking it on, you're getting it away. They've really tightened up at the back now, Manchester United, best. Going past Oaks, men closing in, still best. But inevitably, in those circumstances and on this rather heavy ground, taking on just a little too much. Charlton fighting for everything. Finding a very willing ally in Nobby Styles, but that was a poor one by Styles. Alan Oakes.
Tony Dunn. Burns. An offside given against Ryan Kidd once more. Your and Book. Taken from behind though by Kidd and fairly. So it's Bobby Charlton. It's a fairly aimless one by Bobby Charlton, designed perhaps to eat up a few more seconds. It uh, couldn't have been for anything else. But Charlton really is getting through a tremendous amount of work now for Manchester United. Oaks to Pardo. Boya. Four light blue shirts waiting in the middle if Boya can get this across. Summerby taking it away from Stepney, curling it back. Lee going in. The nearest that Manchester City have been to a likely goal situation for quite a long time. Lee just snatching at that ball, lifting his head and sending it over the bar. Best, checking Pardo. Nice little one-two there with Kidd, still best, Kidd, Sadler's right up in that penalty area as well, so too is Aston, and finally Oaks to bring it away. Free kick given to Manchester United, feet up by Oaks now something like five minutes to go Styles to go in for it and beat Bell to the ball rather cheekily to claim that it was also his throw but it's a city throw Slight altercation there between Bell and Book. Book saying get on with it. Bell wanted to throw it back to Corrigan. And Bell now, can he beat Styles? He's beaten Styles, but he hasn't beaten Sadler. The first time this half that Bell really has got any change whatsoever from Nobby Styles. Doyle to Lee, Lee who's had to come deep to try and get a look at this ball and he always finds Ewer at the end of the road as he did then, Bobby Charlton. George Best, five minutes to go now. Best, and Doyle getting it to Oakes, rather aimless sort of clearance there, rather a wild one by Alan Oakes. Now it's Mike Doyle. Put there towards Bowyer and a very good clearance indeed there out of the Manchester City, out of the Manchester United penalty area there by young Edwards. A really fine diving header because Bowyer was closing in quickly on it. It means a corner to Manchester City but it could have meant so much more than that if he hadn't got in at that moment. Some of his kick. And Stepney lost it once, got it the second time. And with four minutes to go now, it's no time for mistakes. Best. And apparently Book did control that with his hands. 
says referee Taylor free kick to Manchester United Bobby Charlton and a throw to Manchester United Booth having said that he was challenged unfairly as he went for that one got it in the chest Charlton closing on it now best but the whistle has gone Oaks and now Lee good control by Lee was it a penalty or wasn't it? It's a penalty for that foul on Francis Lee. Mr Taylor, without hesitation, giving the penalty to Manchester City. Now Francis Lee scored from the penalty against Leeds United here on Saturday. And it's Lee who is going to take the penalty again. A really terrible blow this to Manchester United. And a terrible burden too on Francis Lee. Can he now give City this lead to take to the second leg? He has 2-1. With just about two minutes to go, Lee makes it 2-1 from the penalty spot. And Kidd having a word rather unwisely there with the referee as they went back to the middle. But you can certainly understand Manchester United's terrible disappointment because they, if anything, looked the better side in this second half. They fought bravely and there can't be many neutrals in this crowd. But what neutrals there are must have felt that Manchester United, for their bold, aggressive attacking play, were at least a worth a draw. But now they are 2-1 down. Bobby Charlton to George Best. Doyle and Book between them, but giving away the corner. On my watch now, one minute to go. Best with the corner. Punched away, but almost there! Kicked off the line by Pardo and Book. Edwards to pump it back again, but pump it behind. Best to Sadler. Still United coming forward. But now Lee. Finding Bell. And Bell falling there. No foul, says the referee. Looks at his watch at the same time, and Best was offside as we go into injury time. So, a free kick to Manchester City. The ball coming free now to Young to plant it back again. Lee! And now Bell just missing it! A really glorious opening there for Manchester City to make it three. Charlton now to set Best away. Best controlling it as he runs. Elbowed off the ball. And a free kick to Manchester United right on the edge of the penalty area. What an incredible game this has been with action and excitement from the word go. And here we are well into injury time with Manchester City almost scoring at one end 
are now united in a very, very dangerous position at the other. Best and Charlton there. Eur has gone skating in and pushed away brilliantly by Corrigan. And a goal kick. Best really bent that ball around the wall. Eur going back to protest that it should be a corner. But it is in fact a goal kick to Manchester City. Well this really is football as it should be played with both sides putting so much emphasis on attack. Boyer pushed in the back surely by Edwards but play on says the referee. Your. Bobby Charlton. Kid getting up. Summerby in an unusual position for him where left halves usually play. And a free kick given to Manchester City. A number of niggling fouls, but certainly a fairly sporting game out there considering the tremendous tension and pressure these players must have been under. And magnificent excitement and entertainment as well. the final whistle so Manchester City in fact make a fairly precarious journey across to Old Trafford for the second leg in a fortnight's time leading here after a truly magnificent game by two goals to one the goal scored by Bell and Lee for Manchester City and for Bobby Charlton for Manchester United the winners of this tie beat West Bromwich Albion at Wembley in March because tonight at the Hawthorns West Bromwich Albion beat Carlisle by four goals to one to go through on aggregate by four goals to two. So the final score though here at Main Road, Manchester City two, Manchester United one, and now from us all, good night.